Let's bring in Ian Shepherdson, Chief Economist at Pantheon Macroeconomics, in a, a very different economic backdrop we are witnessing now versus four years ago when Trump was being inaugurated. Uh, we've got an economy that's been reeling from the pandemic, from the crisis we've just faced, big spending program that's been fleshed out. But at the same time, a stock market that uh, is much higher than four years ago, the Dow about 11,000 points stronger. What do you make of the challenges from here for investors and what we're going to see on this big spending initiative? I think quite a lot of the spending stuff that was talked about yesterday and in uh, President-elect Biden's $1.9 trillion plan that he came out with a week ago, uh, I think most of that will happen. The problem for him with Congress will be getting his bigger stuff through his infrastructure spending and his corporate tax increase that Yellen talked about. That will come later, and I think that'll be a real struggle to get through the Senate. But I think what investors should expect uh, more or less immediately is uh, this attempt to get most of this 1.9 trillion through, which is a huge amount of spending. Just to give you context, it's kind of it's roughly double the uh, the relief bill, the, the the spending bill that was introduced after the crash in 2008. That was 787 billion. So as a share of GDP, uh, this this new proposal from President Biden uh, is is twice as big. And this comes on top of the 2.7 trillion CARES Act from last March. So the amount of stimulus spending is enormous. The Fed has financed quite a lot of it through printing money, and that's why the stock market has, has loved it so much. Thing is that the market knows this is coming now. I don't think there's anyone who thinks that there'll be, there'll be no more spending. I think most people have accepted that there'll be further uh, corona relief spending. So I think markets now have, are, are at peace with that idea. What everybody's waiting for is to see what actually happens to the path of the virus, because I think a, a, a lot of investors now also recognize that the, the virus and, and the economy are inseparable. So it's great to have all this stimulus spending, but a lot of it will be saved until the virus is, is out of the way. And that's really the big debate for investors now. How quickly does it go away? Uh, how quickly does the money get spent that's been saved? And then, of course, what does that do for inflation as we go forward into the summer and into next year?